Uh, welcome back. Now, Balaji Alunge, who has visited over 17 countries, believe it, uh, he, because, because of his passion and, and love for photography, and he's on a mission uh, to connect the world through photography, and is joining us this morning. My man, <laughs> it's been like 17 years. Yes, yes, it's, it's been <laughs> quite a while. It's really nice to see How's you. How's it going, man? Fine. So, um, amazing. 17 years, uh, you know, and here you are doing this thing, photography, visiting so many countries all around the world. Tell us about this passion for photography. Um, I think um, it started with my father. You know, my dad is a photographer, my late dad. Mm. And um, I remember, you know, being in the little pantry by the kitchen in the, um, our pantry was his lab. Mm. So lock myself and my brother in and, you know, do the washing and then hanging negatives and all of that. So I yeah. grew up with photography. Mm. So before digital, um, cameras when we were in school. Yeah. I had this small Minolta camera. So I, I've always, you know, wanted to capture the moment. Mm. And um, thank goodness there's social media now. So <laughs> I'm able to really put it out there immediately for people to see and then, um, you know, things you don't really pay attention to. Yeah. So, I mean, apart from your, your travels, I mean, th there's, um, there's something that we were talking about earlier and you said that you came back to Nigeria and one of the things that you want to do is to document history. Yes. Why is this important for you? It's really important because, um, you know, today for people who are really interested in history, we, we don't have much mm. out there. You know, uh, thanks to a few people, people like um, Ed Kiazo, you know, um, Eti Meyer, mm. uh, they present our, our story mm. on social media. Now, most of our stories, things about Nigeria, in the last 100 years, it's been told by British people, hmm. by explorers, by the colonialists. We do not have information to flow in from us. Hmm. But now, fortunately for us, there is the internet, so we can use it. You know, it's a little disappointing that even as active as we Nigerians are on the internet, our input is still very small. Very little. So we, the, the pictures, sometimes when you're searching for pictures about particular locations, you can't you find can't. it. You mm. can't. And um, I am, this, my main reason for doing this is to encourage Nigerians to pick up the camera, take pictures of anything, put it on the internet. Whatever you put on the internet stays there. Mm. So we need to contribute to the information highway. Mm. And um, what I am doing now is using photography. Mm. And, um, so to tell us about Eyes of a Lagos Boy, you know, it's, uh, when I saw it, I was like, all right, so because, I mean, I know you from way back and the fact that you are a true Lagos boy, you, I mean, Yaba, Akoka, Bariga, I mean, all around there, you, 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 you've been around and you're now giving us a view from your own eyes. And just tell us about this exhibition. Exactly. Um, eyes of a Lagos Boy is self-explanatory. It talks about what my eyes have seen. Mm. It talks about... Um, and now the things I see, I'm bringing out, bringing it to the world. So Eyes of a Lagos Boy started as, you know, it really even wasn't Eyes of a Lagos Boy when I wanted to do it. It was until I, I was talking with Theo Lawson, the head of um, Freedom Park. And um, what was the theme of my photo exhibition? He said, I said, okay, um, my eyes, your eyes. Then he said, let's try Eyes of a Lagos Boy. Hmm. I couldn't sleep that night. <laughs> and um, you know, I was like, okay, yeah, I'm going to be 40. Am I still a boy? He said, we are all boys. <laughs> so, and that's it. Mm. And since this started, I made this T-shirt. This one, this is the first T-shirt mm. during my photo exhibition in May. Yeah. And um, you know, we, I, we had people. My main aim was to meet young photographers. Mm. Professor Wolisho Inka was around, you know, and oh, many wow. other people Amazing. attended. And um, it was a success, really, too. And um, really, it was surprising. And from there, you got, you got into the T-shirt so business. I got this shirt for myself <laughs> and my manager, Maria Rodrigo. Yeah. And um, I wore this shirt. It was just for us to wear to welcome people. Mm -hmm. We didn't intend selling. And um, from then on, people would want to read what's on my chest. And yeah. it's something people really identify with. Because wow. these eyes have seen a lot. Wow. Amazing. Now, you're going to tell us what those eyes <laughs> have also delivered okay. on some of your, uh, your canvases there. Okay. Just give us a few um, of some of the places that you've been. Oh yeah, I also found out that you are a qualified scuba diver. Yes. Because this is underwater. Yes. This is um, 40 meters down under in wow. Sharm El Sheikh. Please, and where is that? <laughs> Sharm El Sheikh is in Egypt, sorry. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, it's off the coast of um, Egypt. This is the Red Sea. Wow. So this boat is called SST Sugon. It was, um, it was cuttled by the Germans in 1941. Hmm. The boat is just 
was just a year old. Mm. So these things you see, it was a supply ship taking trucks, bombs, guns, hmm. train coaches to the Allies. And the Germans got to know about it and, and, they, they, and know, they sank the ship. Sank the ship. And you went... Yes, this is for, it's, it's this, quite deep. Wow. Yeah, so... Absolutely amazing. So, you know, so I... I I am bringing these things to, to, to people who don't have the opportunity to do it, hmm. to see it. Because when you tell people you dive, the next thing they tell you is sharks. <laughs> yeah. Like, mami water, <laughs> you are going to die. But well, have you seen sharks? Of course. You have. Yes. Have you seen mami water? <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. I'm yet to see one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, can we see another so one? So that's um, SST so yeah. Gorm. So what I do is um, capturing the moments everywhere around the world. Let's see. Okay. Oh, this is nice. Yeah, this was taken in Oman. I lived in Oman. And um, we actually just hung out at this beach. It's called um, Shati, Shati mm. Beach. But the Omanis have an interesting way of fishing. They put the net, I mean, Oman, they do a lot of fishing there. It's mm. surrounded by the by uh, yeah. Gulf of Oman to the other side. Mm. So they bring this net, they trawl, and they bring in their trucks. I cropped that out. Mm. The trucks go in, almost into the sea to now pull, pull the fish the fish out. So oh, you wow. see these fish, thousands of them. So seagulls feeding, people waiting to buy fish, and people bringing it to, 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 to so the people. Fresh so fish exactly. right out of the water. And with the background of, you know, the modernness, yeah. the blue, the seagulls. And, and so you can see also a little bit of history here, and then a little bit of uh, exactly. modernity as well. So, you know, the pictures speak. Mm. Anybody can uh, make anything out of this. All right, so from Oman, where do we go? So <laughs> Yes, um, okay, let's see, here, okay. Oh, wow. This was on the metro in Istanbul. Hmm. In Turkey. It's, uh, yeah, it's a country I, I like, you know, and I visited, I just stood on, on, the, um, on the metro and um, I took this picture. Hmm. And then there's something about it. These people were going to work, what's on their minds? Hmm. What are they thinking? So I call it um, commuting peace. Hmm. Which we all hope for. <laughs> Which we all hope for in Especially the crazy the world yeah. we find ourselves these like days. Today. And then um, there's... Shy guy. Yeah. I took this one early this year. Don't take my picture. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, Naja. But the funny thing about this was that I saw this man with three of them. Hmm sitting in the middle of the road. Then I asked him, that, can I take a picture? He obviously didn't understand it. He said, yeah, yeah, maybe you thought I wanted to. Give him something. So I brought out my camera and I started shooting in, you know, pa, 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 and then this was what I saw. Wow. So I decided to make it shy guy. He speaks <laughs> a lot. This thumb, you see, this palm, you see, yeah. has a lot of information in itself. Mm. Shy guy. Absolutely amazing. So. Now, Balaji, I mean, I mean, some of these things that I'm seeing, I mean, it's like um, we, you're taking us into um, sort of, I mean, you're educating us and also letting us know some of the things that we don't have yet in Nigeria. When you're talking about really, really documenting the history of our country in photography. And so when you're looking at the future and the things that we should be doing, what do you think we should be doing in photography? Um, what I tell people, you see, because I come across a lot of young photographers and they tell you they want to learn from you, um, can I assist you and all of that, but you know... I'm but most of them want to take pictures in weddings and collect... Exactly, yeah. and um, life is not all about weddings. Yeah. Life is not all about partying, it's not all about, um, uh, uh, what's it called, the, 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 the runway. Yeah. It's, photography is life. You, I mean, sometimes when you see me take pictures, honestly, for someone who's not really interested in photography, it's like, is this guy crazy? Because it could be an ant I'm trying to capture. Mm. So, you know, just capture the moment. And the good thing now is that you don't have to own a DSLR camera mm. to document history. Mm. Today, my dad's gone. And I look at the pictures he's taken from the 60s because be before he joined the military, he was always a photographer, mm. even in the military and after. Mm. I looked at how he's documented history, pictures of um, 50, 55 years now, mm. and I am proud. So I am encouraging young Africans to pick up the camera. Yeah, we love football, mm. we love um, premiership, we love European soccer, 
But again, we need to start looking into other things. Mm. We need to broaden the scope. Um, and I'll, I'll, be, I'll be glad if that happens. And it's beginning to happen. There are many, many photographers out there these days, right. and it's good. Wow. Thank you so much, Balaji Alunga, for Thank joining you. us. Uh, and make sure that it's not 17 years before I see you again. <laughs> I, I, I really hope so. <laughs>